WSL's 10 has a new owner, but it will be a while before viewers see any changes, and when they do, they'll be subtle. Emily Barr, the CEO of Graham Media Group, flew in from Chicago last night, and today, we all had the chance to meet her. All right, it's official. Okay. The staff at WSLS 10 today got to meet the new boss and began learning about Graham Media Group, the station's new owner, as of January 17th. WSLS is now one of seven stations owned by Graham, which already operates in Houston, Detroit, Orlando, San Antonio, and Jacksonville. Roanoke is the 67th largest TV market in the country, and Graham Media Group CEO Emily Barr says it was a perfect fit. You know, when we had the opportunity to uh, try and pick up a, one or two more TV stations, this market really, you know, jumped out at us because it's, it's first of all, it's a beautiful part of the country. It's a growing market. Uh, it's a very diverse, you know, sort of not only geographically diverse, but it's, you know, the, the, it's got a great breadth of people that live here. So that's a nice kind of synergy there. Work is already underway behind the scenes to make improvements that will eventually be apparent to viewers. There's a lot of interweaving with all the technical stuff that, that's going to take time to unweave and move from one platform to another. And so, you know, that's, there's going to be three or four months there where that's going to be the, f the main focus. Potentially more news coverage, potentially uh, more community-minded programming and, and um, promotions and public service efforts that help, you know, the people who live here really feel connected and inspired. Is WSLS 10 at 5.30? In the meantime, the plan is to continue doing the things that made the station attractive to Graham in the first place, solid news coverage and community service. In the future, Barr says, there will be even more of both. Well, let me say that one of the reasons we decided to buy this television station is because it's doing such a great job and it's so committed to its community. So you're not going to see a lot that's going to look remarkably different. What I, what I admire about this television station is the way it serves the community, both in terms of the, the news it delivers, the way it serves in a, in a community-minded way, you know, 10 cares, that sort of thing. So good meetings today. Uh, yeah. There's lots of things to do. We have to sign up for things like our paychecks right. and our health benefits and all that. But yeah. you know, which is just important. Minor to details. Us, right. You know. <laughs> but you know, in terms of the community, two or three months start to start, right. start to see some subtle changes. It then, feels nice to feel to be wanted, but then also it's not just them choosing the station and us, but really this entire community and just realizing right. that this is a really great place to invest and you know we have great people here at the station, but beyond the station outside of these four walls. So it's pretty cool. No doubt about it.